Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. This is the Doctor, and I am with you on a very late night because I have a new ship. And you and me, folks, we're going to check out this ship together and figure out how best to equip it because I've got no idea. So since I've been gone, Cryptic has done a lot of things. They have released many things. Apparently I have missed a summer event and uh, other free things and ships and everything. I got no idea. All I know is I came back and all of a sudden there's Alachi stuff in the game. If you are not familiar with the Alachi, they have been featured in the Romulan uh, series or on the Romulan faction. And uh, I don't think I've seen them on the Federation side. However, they have released Elachi ships. Um, and you can get those ships. There is an escorty ship and I guess a carrier type of ship. Or maybe not a carrier. I don't even know what it is because I have no idea. I haven't even looked on the website. All I know is I got one because I'm vigilant. No, <laughs> simply because I unlocked a ton of lockboxes and got enough low buy to go to Drozana Station and buy the ship. So uh, this no one gave this ship to me. I did not buy it off the exchange. There are about 80 million energy credits on the exchange. Um, I was not lucky to get one in a lockbox. I simply opened enough lockboxes that I gained enough low buy. I already had a lot of low buy, so I didn't have a whole lot to go, but I managed to get up to 800 low buy, which is what they cost in the store, and I got the battleship. Now, like I said, there is an escort. That one is a drop from the box if you're lucky to get one. Again, I didn't get one. Um, you can also buy them exchange. They're about 60 million energy credits, and I would love to have the escort as well. Um, but until I can get the escort, which is going to take me a long time because they're 60... Um, million energy credits and I have 5.3 <laughs> so I'm way far away from purchasing a, an Elachi Escort but here's what I've got right here this is the Elachi Monbosch Battleship uh, again got it through the Lobi store so you and me right now we're gonna together equip this ship and figure out what it's all about because I got no idea after we go through equipping the ship and testing it out, uh, then I'll do my standard playing um, the Borg STFs. Uh, so um, I'll do those in future videos. I'll do one video for each STF. But this video will solely concentrate on equipping the ship, taking a look at it in space, figuring out um, different builds we can do on it. Let me show you what I currently have real quick because I have this. This ship is just been incredibly awesome on this character. Um, I have a fleet heavy escort carrier. Um, if you're not familiar with the heavy escort carrier, get yourself familiar with it. This is an incredible ship. By far one of my favorite ships in this game on Federation side, no doubt about it. And I got the fleet version of the ship, which is even better than the normal version of the ship. But this fleet heavy escort obviously has one hangar bay, so it's awesome. But here's the great thing about this. is It's like a carrier in that it has a hangar, but yet it turns incredibly awesome. So let's go to space real quick, and I'll just show you because I'm really excited about this ship. I have not done a video on it, but it is worthy of a video, and I need to do one in the future of this ship. It has been incredibly good in space and space battle. So here we are. I'll go to Impulse and um, get up to full speed here. And then look at my how fast I can turn around with this. See, it's a carrier that turns pretty much that fast. And that's fast enough when you're in combat to bring your forward weapons, cannons, etc. to bear. So you can fully equip this carrier with cannons. And that's what makes it really special to me, is that it's a carrier, it's got a hangar bay. Let me launch my shuttle, where my button at? There we go. I have the Delta Flyer on there. Um, it launches uh, two of them, I think it just launched. And then, uh, where are they at? Come on, shuttles, where are you at? There they are. Yeah, there's my advanced Delta Flyer. I got two of them, and then when this cools down, I can launch two more. And um, 
so I've got shuttles that will fight beside me and I got the advanced Delta Flyer but then I got cannons on this thing and again with that ability to turn this fast even without using evasive maneuvers um, I can turn around real fast and bring cannons uh, on my enemies this definitely is a cannon build and I'll show you real quick what I got um, actually what I've decided to do is do a hybrid I have Omega plus Romulan stuff so I could that you can deck it out with all three cannons etc but I went ahead and I'm using both the Omega and the Romulan stuff because I'm tier 5 Romulan and Omega on this character so I'm using the experimental Romulan plasma beam which in combination with the Romulan hyper plasma torpedo and the energy con the zero point energy conduit I have the full three three bonus set of, of the Romulan Singularity Harness, as you can see right there. I've got all three. A set two plasma conductive circuitry and, circuitry and set three plasma hyperflux. So I have the full Romulan um, kit on here, basically. I also have the full Omega kit. I've got the Omega Plasma Torpedo Launcher. And then I have, um, oh yeah, I've got the Romulan, a Romulan Plasma Dual Heavy Cannon, just to, to fill that other spot. I got the kinetic cutting beam and the um, uh, universal assimilated module, and that gives me the full Omega uh, setup, which includes the weapon amplifier and set three reactive deflection. So I have a three set bonus with that as well. And then I only have a Mark 11 rare Riemann shield right now. I haven't yet upgraded. That's more uh, Romulan marks that I need that I don't have. And I only have the two Borg stuff on it. I wanted to get the full Riemann set on the ship, but um, I have to, um, I don't have enough marks. Oh, they're like 750 marks per thing. Like here's one, here's the Riemann Mark 12, very rare shield, and it's 750 Romulan marks. So I'm way far away from even getting one of these items right now, but eventually I will be getting those on this character. Um, However, I've kind of had a change of mind, so we'll talk about that in a minute. Anyway, I'm falling into Earth's atmosphere, as you can see by the shaking. And there we go. Um, also, I have, of course, I mentioned the um, Advanced Delta Flyers and uh, my console set. I've got the Tachyonetic Converter that helps actually with the turn rate on this ship, so I like that a lot. Um, and I don't have a very good warp core, but eventually I'll get a better one. But anyway, there, there's my two Delta Flyers. See, I can launch uh, two more. So I can have four Delta Flyers out at one time on this ship. So it's a carrier, and with the Delta Flyers, you can have four of them fighting along your side, and you can turn fast enough to shoot cannons at your enemy. Anyway, a, a sidetrack from what we're doing today, but I just wanted to show you the awesomeness of, the, um, of this ship right here because it's fixing to go away, and we're going to replace it with the Mon Bosch battleship. Um, but eventually I may come back to this ship and I can go back and forth. I'll make a build of this ship and a build of that ship and keep both that I can select between as I need because I just love this thing and this is on my engineering character by the way um, and if you're curious about my station setup you can pause and just look at how I have it all set up right there but um, tremendous tremendous um, ship. Okay now let's figure out this Mon Bosch battleship. I don't know what it looks like, I don't know what it features uh, I know it has something called crescent weapons and maybe disruptor cannons or something. I don't know. So let's unpack it for the first time right here. Um, let's first, well, okay, before we do that, actually, let's read just a tad about it because we, we don't know anything about it. Um, the Alachi Mon Bosch battleship's silhouette has become a fearful sight to behold for any ship confronted by the mysterious Alachi. Since they began their campaign of devastation, their vicious hit-and-run tactics combined with their ins ins in in <laughs> inconscrutable motives and strategically silent nat and strangely silent nature have struck fear into the hearts of many species of the Alpha and Beta Quadrant. During conflicts with these silent enemies, much of their technology has been salvaged and repurposed for use in the fight against them and their mysterious allies. It is, uh, it is interesting because I do not know where the Alachi came from. We, we haven't advanced as far as I have wanted to in the Romulan side, so I don't know what the Alachi's story is, where they come from, what, what the deal is. But apparently, from reading this, they are a big threat in the Alpha and Beta Quadrant all of a sudden. But where did they come from originally? Because the Alpha and Beta Quadrant have been heavily explored by Starfleet. I mean, Starfleet basically owns the Alpha Quadrant. And then um, the Beta Quadrant were the Romulans and some other races. So those were heavily explored quadrants. So all of a sudden they're in these two quadrants. Uh, where are they coming from, though? I mean, 
are they coming from another quadrant of space or that we haven't that we haven't explored yet I don't, I don't know anyway interesting theories there Mon Bosch battleships, battleships come equipped with a console universal subspace transceiver activating this console will enable the launch of two small support craft from the vessel these craft are unmanned and controlled by onboard computers which specialize in control and support combat subroutines. The control craft will attempt to use abilities such as viral matrix on enemy targets while the support craft will focus on restoring the shields and hull of nearby allies. So it sounds like it's got two, sh two, two craft. One shoots out and, and starts doing damage on enemies. The other one will, will start healing you at the same time. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, I do wonder how destructible they are though and then what the cooldown is going to be on them. Well, that'll be interesting to see. When equipped on the um, Esgolf Escort, and that's the Escort I do not have but do want, well, I want it badly, because I want to get all the consoles you see from that and this ship and combine them and do all the special Ilachi abilities that they, they can do together. Um, on the Escort, the support craft will be summoned using a special subspace frequency instead of launching from the hull. Okay. Equipping both the Crescent Wave Cannon and Subspace Transceiver will enable an extra bonus on any Alachi vessel, which eliminates the shields offline time associated with firing the Crescent Wave Cannon. So okay, apparently we have learned there's something called a Crescent Wave Cannon that's going to come out of our ship, but when we do that, it's going to make our shields go offline. However, combining it with that Subspace Transceiver will eliminate that offline shield thing that's important because I don't want my shields to go down while I'm firing a weapon so I definitely want to combine both. Hull strength is 39,000 that's okay I guess with uh, buffs and everything we can get that up above 50,000 probably. Um, shield modifier is 1.2 so we are got, we do have a shield modifier that's good that means that we'll get some extra shield uh, capacity there. Uh, it's got a 2,000 crew that is gigantic. It's double the size of the Enterprise D um, that's that's a pretty large crew. Now here's what here's what I'm seeing that I like right here. It's got four forward weapons and four aft. They did not skimp on the weapon slots. I mean, on a, on a ship like this, you might expect to see three forward and three aft or something like that. This has four forward and four aft. I love that. That gives me some options to play with on this ship, and I don't know what's going to be best: cannons, beams, etc. I do know I want to use Alachi weapons when I'm able to get them, which I am not able to yet. There, are, there is extra sh stuff I'll show you in the low buy store that costs more low buy and I don't have enough. I have 151 as I can see right there and I think it's like 200 for each thing. So I don't have enough low buy yet. Um, okay, bridge officer stations, uh, Lieutenant Commander Tactical. So it's not a full Commander Tactical, that, so that tells you right there it's not really built for a tactical character. Um, but it does have a commander engineering and that's what made me think here uh, that this is going to be good on an engineering character because with a commander engineering slot you know I can totally utilize all my engineering abilities and being on an engineer that makes sense so it sounds like this battleship is built more for an engineer than it is like a tactical character so I like that um, then it's got an ensign science see not very good on science however it does have two lieutenant universal slots so that's something. Uh, I've got, and here's uh, the console modifications. We've got four tactical and four engineering and only two science. So the two science shows you this is not really for a science person either. But it has four tactical so you can beef up your weapon power. And four engineering, again, that tells you it's, it's really geared toward an engineering character. So I think this ship will best fit an engineering character based on the fact that it's got commander engineering and then four engineering um, slots. It's definitely not science or tactical in my opinion. Um, although you could probably still make a successful build on those characters, I'm just saying it probably best fits an engineer. Now the escort, that one probably leans toward the tactical, um, but I do not have that escort yet. Uh, and I want it badly. <laughs> anyway, base turn rate 10 degrees per second. I'm not sure how that's going to translate to our turning speed, but you know me, I'm a big stickler on turning. I hate slow moving ships. I have to have fast moving ships. Even on my engineering character, like I was using that fleet um, in that um, that ship I, was just, I just showed you, it turns really fast. And that to me is the thing. I need a ship that turns fast. I have to have it. I cannot stand slow ships. 
Um, okay, this has extra power to sub to weapon subsystems and engine, so I like that extra power to the engines. That'll help just a little bit on the turning and moving. Uh, and the console universal subspace transceiver. Excellent. That's what we got. Let's use this. Ooh, and it's going to be called the Wellington. <laughs> Makes me hungry for a Wellington, actually. Um, all right, so. It is the Alachi Manbash Battleship Crew 2000 hole. Of course, we went over all that. It looks interesting in the picture. Can't wait to see it when we get it uh, uh, all readied up here. Congratulations! The Wellington has been commissioned into service. You may rename it. Of course, I will. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and ready in order to set this up. You would have to... Well, yeah, okay. Well, I'm already there, so I don't need to. Okay. Cool. We will go and switch this ship out. Now, I have called this ship the TARDIS, and of course, any ship that I'm currently running will be called the TARDIS, so we'll just name this Old TARDIS. That way I can rename my new one the TARDIS. And while I'm here, I might as well just strip this ship bare. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to use from it, but I definitely have good gear here that is potentially uh, useful on our new ship. So, pull all this off. Again, I don't know what's going to be best for it, but I want the Alachi weapons. I'm just not going to be able to get them for a very long time because I don't have the resources. I'm going to have to grind, grindy, grindy, grindy to get all that stuff. So in fact, my my future space videos in the SCFs, uh, I may delay those and actually work on getting the Alachi weapons before I show those videos because I really want to show that technology off. You know, I want to see the ship with the Yalachi stuff on it. And uh, so, yeah. Oh, now I don't have any engines. <laughs> Check that out. No engines. Don't you love it when sometimes you do that? You just take the engines off while in space, and then you can't go anywhere. Now, that's hilarious. Now, they've changed the icons here on all my consoles, and I cannot tell what is what anymore. And I, I mean, that's cool that they updated the, uh, the art and everything on here, but now I don't know what anything is. Um, where's my Borg engine? There we go. Now we can go. All right. Earth space dock. Take my engine back off. Now, like I said, on this character, I have Tier 5 Omega and Tier 5 Romulan. My idea was to make a hybrid Borg Romulan character, but now I'm kind of thinking that I might change that. Um, I'm, I've got the Alachi battleship now. I'm thinking I'm going to make this character an Alachi Nukara build. Ooh, doesn't that sound interesting? Now I have Tier 0 Nukara. I haven't even started it yet. But I was looking at what it offers, and they have... It, it has its own thing. It's got a uh, space set. Nukara Crystalline Resilient Shield, Nukara Impulse Engine, Nukara Deflector Array. I don't know what the specs are on it. I haven't looked it up. But it sounds interesting to me, and I haven't used Nukara stuff yet. So even though I have all the Romulan stuff on this character, I think I'm going to start tearing up in Nukara and get that stuff and try it out on the Alachi ships. So maybe an Alachi slash Nukara build will be interesting and something I've never done, obviously, so that might be fun. Of course, that'll take a very long time. But I can use the Nukara space set and with the Alachi weapons, I'm thinking maybe that will be kind of cool because it's like Tholian technology and combined with Alachi technology, so both two very powerful species right there combined into one ship should on paper be pretty BA, don't you think? I do, but I got no idea yet until I try it. But and at, at, this, at this point I do have a lot of Romulan stuff too, so I won't be hurting with um, gear until I get that stuff. And I can make one of my ships Romulan and the other one Nukara. I can make my uh, ship I just showed you previously uh, Nukara and make this one um, the, uh, I mean, the, that one Romulan and this one Nukara. Something like that. Whatever. I'll do something. I'll figure it out. Okay, so now we've got to make Wellington Ready Starship. There we go. Now that's all we have to do. We now have a brand new ship. 
Um, let's see what it comes equipped with because this is the first time I'm looking at it, just like you are. Okay. Interesting look to it. Kind of looks like that ship on the Klingon side. What's that ship name? I forgot the name of it. Uh, but you know the one I'm talking about that kind of looks like an X. It's on the Klingon side. Um, this kind of looks like that profile. I don't know how it'll perform. It's interesting. It's something different. So, hey, I like different things. Um, okay, so here's what we've got. Um, this is... It's giving me an Alachi beam array. So apparently there are Alachi flat out plain Ilachi weapons. Now I did not know that. I knew there was like a special cannon and some special Ilachi weapons, but I did not know that they had regular beam arrays and, and cannons that are of the Ilachi technology. Or Ilachi, well, I don't even know what that is because <laughs> this is all new to me too, but it looks like by reading it, it's disruptor damage. So why wouldn't they just call it disruptor beams? So what makes it what makes the Alachi part of it what makes it different by being Alachi? Um maybe it's that ignore shield part. The 2 2.5% chance ignore 100% of target shields and 50% of target's damage resistance. Is that the Alachi part of it? Somebody tell me because I do not know. But something in the specs there is making that disruptor different from a normal disruptor beam array that you would buy. I'll have to look on the exchange at a disruptor and see what the difference is because something about that makes it unique. Hmm. Beam arrays, uh, this will actually tell us right here. Beam weapons, the Alachi space weapons have a chance to ignore the target shields and part of the top. Okay, so there we go. That's the Alachi part of it. So I guess a regular disruptor doesn't have that ability, but an Alachi disruptor has the ability to ignore target shields. That's a very cool ability. I like that. It kind of reminds me of Tetrion. Tetrion drains shields. Nothing really gets through the shields, but yeah, this this does. So okay, it ignores just plain flat out ignores shields. Well, that's pretty cool. So that's what makes it Alachi. Well, that's a cool ability. All right, and that could be good on a character that doesn't do a lot of DPS too. That's something to think about right there. That's an extra ability that can get through shields if you're not doing a lot of DPS to take down the shields in the first place. Ooh. So yeah, so that could be very good on a uh, engineering character who doesn't do as much DPS as a tactical character. That's a uh, that's 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 good. I'm starting to see how that is beneficial now. Okay, of course that's just a regular beam Mark 10. That's terrible specs and all that. We would want Mark 12, very rare, but it, that's what it's showing me. It comes with and just a regular quantum torpedo. That's trash. Now, dual crescent wave cannons. Okay, see, something about uh, the Ilachi is that they fire crescent weapons instead of a, a beam or like a, um, a ball torpedo or a ball cannon fire. They fire these crescent-shaped weapons, which I think look really awesome. Uh, so, that's cool. Um, they don't have any special other weapons on here other than just being Ilachi weapons. So no special weapons. That means that special crescent beam and cannon and stuff they have will have to purchase separately. That's going to hurt because I don't have those resources. But here's a special console anyway. Um, it summons pets, pretty much. <laughs> they are, I get, but they're pets that are useful. Yep, 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 yep. I want that crescent wave efficiency. So I need to get the... Crescent Wave Cannon is what I need. It's a, Oh, it's a console. I didn't know it was a console. I thought it was a uh, an actual weapon, but it says here, Console Universal Crescent Wave Cannon. So I need the Crescent Wave Cannon console. Okay, well I want that console in, then, so I can have both. It's going to take away from one of my console slots, but oh well, so be it. I want it. Want it, want it, want it. 
Um, before we go do anything, let's just take a look at the ship in space because I am so curious to what it looks like and how it turns and all that jazz. Of course, we'll make it better, but I just want to see what it can do on its own here. Wow, it's big. <laughs> it's big. Always go to attack power because that's where I'm going to be at anyway. Well, I'm going to have to zoom way out <laughs> just to look at it. Jeez. Trying to get a close-up on it. Look at the texturing of it. I need to get to somewhere where it's lighted better. Looks kind of alright. Looks cool. It looks funky, though. <laughs> oh, it turns okay, actually. I mean, that's not the best. It's not as good as my ship I just showed you, but it is not as bad as some carriers. Some carriers, now I guess this doesn't, no, yeah, this doesn't have a carrier, so this, I don't know, I guess this isn't a carrier ship. I keep calling it a carrier. It's not a carrier. It doesn't have a hangar bay. It's just a battleship. So, of course, it would move faster than a carrier because it's a battleship. It's not a carrier. But, it is definitely slower turning than the ship I had before. But, I can improve that turn rate because, now look at the engine power is really good on it, 52. But, I, I'm going to improve that because I'm going to use the tachyonetic converter which improves turn rate and I've got some other buffs as well. I got my liberated Borg when I when I equip that person it'll add more power plus whatever uh, set space set I use whatever impulse engine I use could increase turn rate there as well so all of those things together will in increase my turn rate anymore so that makes me think should I go with a beam build or a cannon build on this ship I don't really want to do a hybrid because that really just takes away too much unless there's a special beam weapon I need to have equipped um, in order to get like special Alachi abilities in which case I will do that but I don't know with this turn rate I could maybe make it a cannons it all, I guess it all depends what special Alachi weapons I have I can get I'm gonna do something real quick let's um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Drozana real quick and I'm gonna show you because I looked at it earlier but I, I forgot it now the special the three special Alachi things that they have and that's what I'm really curious about right now so I thought it came I thought it was gonna come with more than just the console but it uh, doesn't oh where's my slipstream Oh, it's already a button for it. Ha! <sighs> yeah, so basically at Trezana Station, what I'm fixing to show you in the low buy store is that there are three things you can buy for this ship. I just forget what if, if it's uh, co if they're consoles or if they're actual weapons that you put in the weapon slot. We will find out. Because eventually that's what I'm going to want to get. But darn it, I've only got 151 low buy. I need... <laughs> I'm going to have to open more lock boxes to get more low buy. And that's just... That's going to suck. So... I really don't want to show this thing off in battle. Until I'm using all the lots of weapons. Because that would be awesome. That's the whole point of it, right? But at the same time, I know that's going to take me a long time to get... So maybe I will show it anyway, and then I can always revisit it and show it again. I'll just show it. I'll sh I guess I'll just have to have use Romulan weapons for right now. Because that's what I have the most of, and they're really awesome. I mean, they're, you know, very rare Mark 12s from the um, Reputation store. So, I mean, they're all top-end stuff. Plus, I get all those set bonuses from the Omega and the Romulan. So this is going to be a Romulan Alachi ship. <laughs> for the time being until I can do something with it. But that's okay. It'll still be powerful because those are all powerful things I have. Um, it'll just be a while before I can get all the Alachi crap on it. I guess if I put the Borg engine on it, I can go faster. There we go. Warp 20, that's better.
the, the warp and I mean the uh, Borg engine matches it so perfectly you can't even tell it's like installed on there because it's still green. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, see, that putting the shields on it, like the different shields, will have different effects on it too. And we're gonna definitely we're gonna look at that. Like if I put the Riemann shield on it, ooh, that's gonna look interesting. Where's my Riemann shield? Huh? There you go. There it is with the Riemann shield. That's not bad. It actually kind of looks like a Romulan ship with the Riemann shield. Um, oh, I don't have any other shields. I have a Mako and Omega, but they're in my bank. I'll have to go there and get them. I don't have the Borg shield either, no. So we'll have to go and um, get some different shields and see what they look like on this thing. Okay. Rosanna, here we come. What does this button do? Oh, that's no, that's a support craft. Okay. We'll have to try out all those buttons. Now, um, generally, this is what I do before I create those videos that you've seen where I go do the STS in the ships. I usually do all this junk off camera. So this is the part that you generally don't see. But this is what I do when I get a new ship. I explore every bit of it because I got to figure it out because I don't know anything about them. All right, so here we go to space gear. All right, so here's the three new Ilachi things. So there is something called a heavy crescent wave cannon. Um, it is a forward ship weapon, so that's a cannon. So that tells me right there that I might, I, there is no beam, there's no special beam that I see. Unless there's a beam on the escort. Now that's something I haven't considered yet. What does the escort come with? Because I don't know. Okay, anyway, heavy crescent wave cannon. Uh, and that has a three piece set. When you have all three, you get a set two bonus is subspace, disrupt, subspace disruptions. The set three bonus is something called Haywire Unspeakable Energy. Um, it all sounds incredible to me. I want all of them, but as you can see, they're 200 low buy a piece. So that's almost as much as a whole ship. So um, you have to open a ton of boxes to get all three of these. But that, I want that. So that's obviously a cannon. So that kind of helps me decide that maybe I'm going to go with a cannon build since the special weapon is a cannon. Alachi Subspace Torpedo. I was reading about this. This thing, what, what's special about it, it is that it, um, it does some kind of uh, subspace damage. Uh, we'll just read about it real quick. Uh, the Alachi use specially modified torpedoes that locally disrupt, disrupt subspace at the point of impact without causing permanent damage to the space-time continuum. The result is a weapon with a lot of punch that can temporarily disable ship functionality without costing, causing lasting repercussions. So that's a cool torpedo. I definitely want that on the forward. So um, that's just one more thing I gotta get. And then the bio neural infusion circuits, uh, subspace disruptions, haywire, and speed one. That's part of the set. I guess all three of these are the same set. Okay, yeah. They're all three part of the same set, so these are the three things that I need to get the special Elachi set, which is called... should have a name. Well, I don't know what it's called. Usually they have like a name for the set. Uh, I don't know what this one is named. Anyway, I know I want it. So this one is a forward weapon slot. This is also a weapon slot. Uh, this is a console so this is uh, this is a console that's the console the other console I need now let's go look real quick um, no I can't look real quick never mind I was gonna say let's look real quick at the escort but the escort is not here it's actually in the exchange so let's go back to Earth Space Dock It's huge. Let's see what these support things look like real quick. I can't even. 
even see them. Where are they at? <laughs> oh, there they are. Monbosch support craft. Oh, there's the other one right there. They're just so hard to see. There we go. Okay, that's cool. Kind of like that. Since we're close to the exchange, let's just go look real quick at the escort and see what special weapons it comes with. Because when I get the escort, usually what they do is they that's what they do with the lockbox items is they have a special weapon on both ships, and if you combine them, then you get those special ability more special abilities. It's all a learning process. So we'll go to sh la reward packs. Very rare. Lachi. That's it, the S Golf Escorts. Okay, the Escorts come equipped with the console. Okay, they, they come with the console Crescent Wave Cannon. So, so we saw in the low buy store they have the Wave Cannon weapon. And then this, the, the escort comes with the console that combines with that weapon so that shields won't go down when you fire that weapon. So I won't have any of those abilities right now, but eventually I want to get the low buy store weapon and then I want to get the, es the escort so that I can use the console to go with that weapon so it won't bring my shields down. I see how that works now. Well, that's what I want. That's what I need. I need the... the uh, but I'm going to need 60 million energy credits. 60 million. There you go. Anyway, let's go equip this thing and figure out what we can want to work best on it. Really, the best gear I have right now is oh, may, is is um, I don't know why I'm going this way. Let's go this way. Um, is the um, tier five Omega and tier five Romulus reputation. That's really the best gear that I have. I also have ma I have I have all the stuff that goes with that. So or most of the stuff. So that will that will be where I go with this right now. And like I said, I'll probably in the future put new Kara stuff on it and see what that looks like. So all right, I don't know, I'm just walking around. All right, let's do this. Um, okay. These Alachi weapons, cool that they're Alachi. Problem is they're not very powerful. Mark 10 common. That will not fly. And this quantum torpedo, I can just delete it. I'll put these in the bank. But I won't. Oh, lag. Oh, I hate you, lag. Good gosh. That's some lag. Alright, I'll keep these weapons. I'll put them in my bank. But I'll probably never use them, to be honest with you. They're too low power. Definitely won't use you. Put this back here for right now. We'll delete you. We'll delete you. And you. And we'll... You're bad. Um, and you will keep... We'll keep these just in case. Just because they're there. Alright. Now... We're starting from fresh, basically. Um, I don't know what's going to work good until I test it. But I do know what good weapons I have, and that's that what I basically had on my last ship. Except now I have more aft options. Could put that in the aft. Got two torpedoes, and I got two turntables and a microphone. I don't know what's going to work good. Thinking thinking. Okay, definitely want the that on there. <laughs> thinking. I guess we can try a cannon build and see if I can bring it around fast enough. I do have turrets. So, yeah. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try just both torpedoes on the front. I love the combination of both these torpedoes. The Romulan one and then the Omega one. Because it's just awesome. It's just, it's just 
You just can't imagine what the torpedo power is like. It's just totally incredible. It's basically how I had it set up on the other ship. We'll try it and see what happens. Worst case scenario, it sucks and we just fix it. But now I do have another slot there for something. I'll see what I got in my bank. Um, okay, well, I, I don't know here what set to use. Obviously, I don't have, I only have one warp core, so I don't have much choices there. Definitely want, this is the new EPS logo. I definitely want that, and then the Neutronium. I want that. It kind of fills up that slot, doesn't it? I want my field generators for shield capacity. Give it good shield capacity, why not? Um, tactical console slots, that's really the only place I have left for things. That goes in line with the three-piece Romulan stuff. I want the tachyonetic converter. Uh, really, I'm not going to have a lot of positions left. Because if I get that uh, those other consoles, I'm going to be full. I'm not going to be able to put any um, any uh, tactical consoles that go toward energy. Poop. Huh. May have to rethink this. Well, right now, I can put the plasma consoles, but in the future, when I get those two other consoles, that's the only place I have left to put them. And I know people are going to say, well, you can take out one of your shield capacity generator thingies, or both of them. Uh, yeah, I could, but I love having a really high shield capacity. I just love, 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 love it. And there's an awesome neutronium thing you can get from your fleet dilithium mine that does hull um, strength. And eventually I want to get that, so I want that console. Got to have this for the three-piece Omega. Uh, Got to have my EPS, and that's part of the Elachi. So yeah, I'm just out of slots. Huh. Well, and then I had two Borg and uh, Riemann. Of course, I'll get a better Riemann one eventually. But I also have in my bank other options. my Mako at? I have the Mako. Do I have the adapted Mako? You know what? I don't think I have adapted Mako on this character. No, I don't. I never got the adapted Mako. Nope. All I have is Mako Mako. Well, we'll try it out and then the Mako deflector and Mako engine. I also have Omega, but I know that's not going to be good. Anyway, I don't have the other Omega stuff. Never mind, I've only got the shield. That wouldn't be good anyway. But I'll, I'll put the shield just to see what the effects look like. I'm curious. I do have the Borg shield. Again, that's not going to be effective, but I just want to see what it looks like. I do have Jim Hadar stuff, but it was only Mark 11. However, I do want to see what it looks like with the effects. And we'll look at uh, Aegis uh, shield effects as well. And we'll just move these Alachi things off for right now. I need more bank space. Alright, so we'll just try that stuff out to see what it looks like on the ship. Just so you can see the different visuals. What else shield do I have? I don't have... I don't have the green shield, do I? No, I don't. That's all I got. Let's go to space and uh, look at this now. I'll probably end up doing the two Borg things and then the Riemann thing for right now. And we'll test it out and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but we'll try it. Um, let's get... Oh, I can't move yet. Uh, let's put... Let's start with the... Well, let's start with the Aegis shield because that's what... 
That's not even the right ship. Let's start with the Aegis shield. Because that's the lowest end shield there. I wouldn't use it, but I'm curious what it looks like on it. We need an engine on there so we can move. Wow. That's very bold. <laughs> Let me move out of here into places. <laughs> wow, that Aegis shield really packs a punch on this ship. Some ships, the Aegis shield is hard to see but with the blue lines, but on this ship, they are dominant. Especially up here on, I guess, what's the engines. They are really dominant. And on the front, get away from all these people out here and, and look at it. Front view of it. Um, definitely, definitely very visual with the Aegis shield. It doesn't change the texture of the ship. All it does is adds those blue Tron lines, as uh, people like to call them. Makes it look Tron-like. So there's the Aegis look, if you're curious. Very nice. Now let's take that off and do um, Jim Hadar. That'll look funky. Basically, that makes it look like a Jim Hadar ship. Um, got the purple and the gray. Not that good looking in my opinion. I think it's kind of ugly. But there you go. For people that want to see it, you have now seen it. <laughs> does make it purple back here too. But it doesn't make the... In yeah, no, it does make the engine lines purple. Okay. Alright. So that's that. Uh, let's look at the Borg. There it is, Borged out. It kind of matches it because it's green to begin with, greenish. So the Borg stuff actually blends right in really well. It's kind of hard to see. I wouldn't recommend that shield anyway. It's not very good, but that's cool from underneath. So that's the Borg look. Let's look at uh, Mako because that one's very common. A lot of people use Mako. So there's the Mako look. It um, makes it very shiny. Definitely shiny. More kind of blue-green. More bluish than green. And it's got this stop sign pattern look on it. That um, all over it actually. Really changes the texture of it. It's all right. I mean, it doesn't make it look particularly awesome, but hey, I don't know. Um, let's look at Omega Shield. The Omega Shield adds a lot of texture to it, and that's something I've found that the Omega Shield does on all the ships I put it on. So there's like a side view. I'll turn it off real quick and you can see the difference. See if I can uh, minimize this window so you can see it at the same time. I turn it off. Ah, whatever. <laughs> I can't. But if I turn this off, see it takes away a lot of that detail. Turn it on. Ta-da. It adds, it adds a lot of detail to it. Kind of makes it look pretty cool actually. But the Omega Shield is not that good. That's the only problem with the Omega Shield. It's not that good. The capacity of it is not that good. It's good for like escorts. But it's not good for battleships. But it does have a very a very appealing visual effect to it anyway. I like that visual effect. And then, of course, um, Riemann Shield really transforms the look of it. Uh, that's probably the most changed out of all of them right there. Still greenish, so it still keeps with the greenish theme. Different kind of green. Uh, now obviously there is the Nukara shield as well, but I don't have it and I don't even know if it has a special effect. It probably does, but I do not know what it looks like, nor can I try it out. 
So that's what we're going to be stuck with. I'll put the um, deflector on. There's the Borg deflector. It is so small on this ship because the ship is so tiny. And we know the Borg deflector is huge. But on this ship, it's so tiny because the ship is so huge. There's the Borg engine that it put on it. It's very out of place. But it turns all right. I haven't slotted my bridge officers yet. Um, see what my stats are. 53,000 hulls. So yeah, I was able to get that over 50,000. So that's good. 14.4 on shield. See, this is not a very good shield right now. I need to get the Mark 12 very rare. Even, see, without these shield things, look how low the shield is. 11. Putting these on makes it 14. It definitely helps. But I need to get a better shield flat out because that's not good. Let's put the Mako shield on. Let's see what this is. It's even less with the Mako shield, actually. We'll put all the Mako stuff on real quick. Uh, still 53 hole. Oh, there it is. Now that I have the... Yeah, so I forgot that that increases stuff. So with the whole Mako set, now the shields are at 14 too, so we're okay. 53.8 hull. Really good stats on it, actually, for all that stuff. You can see all that movement. So I've got a turn rate of 16.8 with the Mako. When I put the Borg on, what do I have? Ooh, the Borg's even higher, 17.1 degrees a second. I definitely want to keep the Borg stuff on then for that better turn rate. I love that extra turn rate. Now how has my, my defense is still the same. Shield's lower because I'm using that shield, but if I put the Riemann shield on, then the shield goes back up to 14.4. So that's really the best combo. I get better turn speed with the Borg, and I get a better shield capacity with the Riemann. Uh, so it beats the Mako because I'm able to have better turn rate than the Mako. So that's what I'm going with. And then I just need to upgrade that. That's my weak point right now. I think that's the build I'm going to go with for right now until I get all the new car stuff. That's my best. That's my best bet. Let's slot my stations because that'll change things too. Oh, I'm way out here in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere. Um, okay, I want. My tactical, who's my tech? I got one, tech space. Commander engineering will be liberated Borg. That should change my power levels. Did it? 125, 75, 59, 49. And then when I go to that. It didn't change my power levels. It's supposed to. But it didn't. Might have to beam down and back up or something. Only got one science slot. <laughs> one instant science slot. That's terrible. But now I have two Lieutenant Universal slots. Hmm. I guess it depends what weapons I'm going to be using here. I'd like to have Beam Array Overload. For, the, for that. I'd like to have cannon rapid fire for that. I'd like to have torpedo high yield and torpedo spread for those. Oh yeah, I need to put something back here too. So what do I have? I got beam overload one, torpedo spread. Okay, I got high yield two, def or high yield three. Definitely want to keep high yield three. Don't want to give that up. Oh, I had cannon rapid fire three too, but darn it, I don't have a commander tactical station. Uh, anyway, well, I guess I'll just have to have a lower one. Uh, maybe I can get at least cannon rapid fire two would be good. Okay, torpedo high yield three. Torpedo spread two. Because I'll never have... Okay, we'll leave those two there. And then I guess here we can do rapid fire too. We'll do an, so we'll do another tactical slot here. 
who's my tactical? Wonder if I have one. Oh, it looks like I can also because I, mm, I could fill this one with. The, I could do another tack so I could have beam array overload two, and cannon rapid fire two. Cause I hate tier one abilities, so I, I could put two tacks on here. Ooh, that's a lot of tactical people though, and only one engineer. But you know what? I could totally do that. Huh, I'm curious to see how it would work. Also, uh, so here's what I'm thinking. Let's just put my brain there. I'll have to go and retrain these. We'll put, um, no, you're science. Emo Rex, you're tactical. I just need to put, I just need to raise you up. Promote you. There we go. Now I will go and retrain those. I'm going to show you my plan here. I just need to go retrain now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm far away. Yeah, it's not perfect. But maybe it's something. <laughs> something awful or something good. I don't know yet. I will certainly take suggestions after posting this video. But I really think new car would be cool. I really don't know the stats on it though, but I think it might be interesting at least. Uh, it's just gonna take me a long time to tear up to that. Plus with all the Alachi stuff. Wanna get all the Alachi stuff. You know what? The escort may be more fun than the battleship. Because like I said, I love fast moving ships and all that stuff. Where am I headed? Where am I headed? Where am I going? I lost my train of thought. I am retraining. So, um, I definitely want to get the Escort because I want to try it too and I may stick with the Escort again. But at least I can show you guys this battleship. We'll try it out. Something new. No, is it not? Why did I go here? My brain has left the building, folks. I was looking to retrain. This may be terrible what I'm fixing to do here or it may be awesome. It's a lot of tactical officers on it. For an engineering ship and on an engineering character, I've got more tactical officers than anything, which is a little awkward, but maybe it will work. We will see. Tech space. All right, here's what I'm thinking. Um, we'll leave you high yield three. We'll leave you torp spread two. Now on the breen, we'll do cannon rapid fire two. No, it's only got cannon rapid fire one. Oh crap, there goes my idea. Cannon rapid fire two is a um, lieutenant commander ability, aren't it? I did not know that. Well, I do now, and that totally ruins my idea. That means I can never have cannon rapid fire two on this ship. Because I don't want to get rid of Torpedo Hayo three. This is my only character that has it, and it's a special ability, and it's awesome. I don't want to lose it. That's the only position that it would go in. <sighs> so that kind of ruins my idea for a cannon build. Because I do not like tier 1 abilities. I like to at least have tier 2 abilities if I'm going to have an ability. I might have to, you know what? I honestly might have to make this a beam build. And just have that one... Um, it does have that that wave crescent, or that crescent, Ilachi crescent cannon, remember, in the low buy store. So we're going to have to have one cannon on this ship anyway, flat out, because that's the spe one of the special abilities, and I want that set, right? So we're going to have one cannon. Unfortunately, it's just only going to have rapid fire one abilities. It's not going to have anything else. And I hope rapid fire will, I hope it will work with rapid fire. I don't even know that it will. But I'm thinking that it would because it's a cannon. So it should have cannon abilities. But it's only going to have, it's not worth it to do rapid fire because, I mean, uh, scatter volley. Because if you're going to do scatter volley, you're going to need more than one cannon. 
so you know what I think I'm gonna go with a beam build on this ship because I have so many aft stations I can put a whole lot of beams back there and uh, turn this thing to the side like a beam boat and kinda you know hit it from the side I might have to be rethinking my entire setup on this ship but of course that's after I get the Alachi weapons which I don't have yet still gonna suck though because I don't have them yet and that's really what I'm building for well all I can do is rapid fire one because that's all that I can do so on my brain let's do rapid fire one no use whining about it the doctor <laughs> stop whining all right let's train rapid fire one on the brain that's all I can do it's the best it's the best I can do but it gives me at least a cannon ability so I can do better than just you know regular cannon fire okay and then I was gonna do beam overload too so I have uh, at least a better beam overload ability who are you emo you're emo emo alright so now I've got beam array overload two, cannon rapid one so at least I can do an okay beam ability not really best on the cannon ability but I guess it's only gonna have one cannon anyway so heck I've got I've got really good torpedo abilities but I am rocking two torpedoes so that makes sense I can do high yield torpedo which is awesome the high yield Omega torpedo remember does that high yield that big green torpedo that will uh, disintegrate a whole ship in one shot <laughs> and then the high yield uh, Romulan torpedo it, uh, it 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 does like six continuous Romulan torpedoes hitting a target so it's really powerful and then the spread um, will do uh, both of them can do a spread so I got a lot of torpedo ability on this ship this is really really a powerful torpedo ship with those both of those torpedoes active and that's something I haven't shown you yet but I've been doing that for a while on that other ship that I had and it's really been powerful I mean really powerful with those torpedoes okay now I just have instant slots to fill on my tactical which is terrible all right, tax space. I'll give you tactical team one. Now, what else am I gonna fill you with here? Beam fire at will. I mean, if I have a lot of beams, sure, that can be useful. I don't really need these other torpedo ones, and I got that. And I don't really like these target. I don't do these target things. So the only other option is fire at will. Well, let's put fire at will on the Breen. And then I'm, I'm just left with one more spot. I don't know what to put. I am honestly stumped because I really don't need that spot. I don't do target subsystems. I mean, I could, but I really don't do that. But I guess in this case I'll have to, I mean, because that's, that's what I got. Since I am rocking a lot of torpedoes, I guess it would be best to take down their shields as fast as possible because uh, the, the more I can get their shields down, the torpedoes will hit their hull and do their damage. Shields really deflect torpedoes a lot. So I guess beam target shields It's the best I can come up with right now on that, which you already have apparently target shields okay then we'll just keep that that's my setup for right now all right emergency power to weapons want engineering team two want emergency power to shields three want directed energy modulation three want now I can train what can I train it's grayed out but I know I can train these things or no I can't oh wait a minute wait a minute Bleh. there we go messed up on me okay that's what I can train so I, I've got extended shields through your directed energy modulation well, that'll help bring their shields down so I've got all these abilities now to help me bring their shields down fast we'll keep it I don't well we'll never use extend shields three for the lieutenant commander station I already have emergency power to shields 
That's what I like to have. I like that ability. Okay, so there are two tier three abilities, at least that I am able to utilize my engineering abilities with. So that's good. I'm going to keep all that. Now for science, well, I've only got one science ability, which is not good. And if there's anything I got to have for science space, it's going to have to be science team one. But it just sucks, that's all I have. But hey, if it's all I got, it's all I got. I hope I have enough um, points to do all this leveling up I need to do now. Alright, you're leveled. Fire at will one, rapid fire one. I believe that's all I had on the Breen. Emo Rex, you need to be trained in Overload 2. Attack Space, you need to be trained here. Leborg, I think you're already all skilled up and everything. Yes. And I already did science one. Okay, so now you guys are skilled up and you'll have good powers. <sighs> it's the best I can come up with for right now. I think it'll work. It'll be interesting, but I think it'll I think it'll work. Alright, definitely gotta change our name here. I'll just call it none. Uh, just call it TARDIS. It won't even have a registry. I like that. None. I like that it has an option of none. That is very cool. I've never seen that before. Wait a minute, it went away. Oh, it's way up here now. Huh. It all of a sudden disappeared on me. I thought I lost it. It's just called TARDIS. That's awesome. Now I don't have a USS or a NX or anything like that. It's just called TARDIS. It has no registry name. Oh, that is just completely sweet. Now, what am I going to do with these rear thingies here? Alright, if I'm facing front. We've got two torps, um, a beam, and a cannon. So if I'm facing forward, it would be nice to have three turrets also going at it. But if I'm at the s if I'm on the side, boy, it would have help really help to have three beams. I don't know. You know what I'll do? I shouldn't have taken the Alachi stuff off. What I'll do is I'm going to utilize the Alachi stuff uh, that it came with to figure out if I want turrets or beams back there because I don't know what I want back there yet I don't know what's going to be more useful to me I don't know if see I, what I don't know is when I'm fighting enemies I don't know if I'm going to be facing forward a lot of the, most of the time or if I'm going to be waiting to turn and need to be firing on the enemy from the side that's information I don't know yet until I try it out so what I'll do is I will take the beam weapon here and the other beam weapon and then these were turrets, right? Yeah, I'll take that other turret in case I want to utilize it. And what we'll do is I'll try out different things. Right now, I'll try it with all turrets. I actually need one more beam. So I'll try out a beam beam layout too. Where is a beam? Where is a beam? Uh, these are all beams, definitely. Um, they're already bound to me, so it doesn't matter if I equip them. It won't match. What other beams do I have? Is that the only beams I have? I guess so. Well, it won't match very well, but it'll allow me to at least try something out. So that's what I'll do right now. I will test it with all turrets. We'll see how that works. Then I'll try it with all beams in the back. And see how that works. I'll just try it both ways. It's the only way I'm going to know. Okay. Is everything set? Because I am ready to test this thing out. I think so. Now a good place to test this is actually going to be a fleet action because um, it's very intense those fleet actions 
What is that? Plasma conductive circuitry. Alright, um, always let's make sure I have everything on auto, because right now it's not. Yay. Now let's rearrange my buttons, shall we? Wish there was an easy way to clear out these buttons. Double clicking doesn't remove them. Bye bye things. We will start anew. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, abandoned ship, I'll probably never use you, but just in case I'll put you there. No, no, there's beam fire at will. Fire at will one? Oh yeah, fire at will one. Duh. Um, overload two. I don't know what... I want these in yet. Grace for impact. Cannon rapid fire. One. Uh, directed energy modulation. Distribute shield power. And a Lachi turret. No, that's just. It's already on auto. Emergency power to shield three. Emergency power to weapon. And I just remembered. I want my tech team there. Engineering fleet. Engineering team. Yes, power transfer, evasive maneuvers, fireworks. Oh yeah, gotta have fireworks. Fleet support. Diplo immunity. Miracle worker. Nadion inversion. Quantum singularity manipulation. Slipstream. Ramming speed. Again, I'll probably never use. Red matter, where'd my Nadion inversion go? Um, rotate shield frequency. Science team one. Okay, that's good. Subspace field, okay. Summon support craft, awesome. Tech team one. Target shield subsystems. I don't know where I'll put you just yet. We're running out of space. Torpedo high yield. Three. I'm, I'm, I'm now I'm space. I'm never gonna use you. I'm never gonna use you. Well, I might use one of you. Okay, let's see. If I'm going to go into battle, see this is this is my thinking method. I like to have my buttons in the order that I'm gonna press them. So when I go when I can go into battle, I can go bam, 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 right down the line, and it, it hits everything I'm going to use at once. I'm going to go um, Mercy Sparta weapons tack team. I'm probably going to start out with yeah directed energy modulation that'll help bring down the shields, and then I guess I'm going to do beam overload. But I really don't want that there. I want that there so I can also do cannon rapid fire at the same time and then I want torpedo stuff next I want high yield torpedo and torpedo spread so I can have my torpedo stuff right by me okay then I can do do that. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that'll work. Uh huh. Well, I'll never use ramming speed, but you know, I don't know. We'll just leave that open for now until I figure it all out. Buttons always evolve too as I figure out what I where I want things. 
But I think that's all of them that I want. Alright. Power, well, I got pretty good on the engine. 60 was pretty high. I don't really need auxiliary power. 125 weapons, I like that. 75 shield, that's decent. That's decent. Of course, now I can turn really fast using evasive maneuvers. You see, I can turn really fast. Well, there she is, everybody. My Alachi ship, and gosh darn it, I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll find out. Um, Make sure everything's on auto again. Yes, sir. Hide. Right, let's do a... See if I can quickly get into a uh, fleet mark mission here. Oh, yeah. Looks like I can get in real fast. We'll do a fleet... Uh, the uh, Protect Your Starbase mission. That'll be a real good test for this ship because that's, that's a pretty intense uh, little mission there. Not little, actually. There's like four or five stages or something. And depending on what enemy you get... Um, can be a real good test of your ship. So we'll get into this and we'll try it. And um, yeah, like I said, uh, heck if I know if this is going to work. <laughs> but the only way to know is to go in and try, right? <sighs> okay, so remember where we are using... Oh, I'm yawning right now. That time, by the way, is correct. 3.55, that's a.m. Yeah, a.m. Check that out. That's how dedicated I am, man. <laughs> um... So, let's see how this works. Got turrets on right now. I might try that for half the battle and switch over to uh, beams and see how that works. My gigantic ship. I kind of don't like the look of it that well, but that's just me. Uh, I might like the escort better. Anyway. Gosh, I want that escort so bad! I need 60 million energy credits. USS Middle Finger. Wow. Hey, Mon Bosch, show me what you can do. Mon Bosch, your Bosch. Success. Remember to heal Starbase. People always forget, or, or they just flat out don't do it, to heal the Starbase during these things. <laughs> There's my craft. I had to bring those out. I'm going to try them. so big that it's like the weapons on it are so tiny. Here, let's use my uh, torpedo spread out here. There's the Omega torpedo spread. It's pretty cool, huh? See, now I don't have a, I don't have any way to get away from this tractor beam. I don't have polarized hull because I don't have, a, I don't have enough uh, science slots to have that. So I'm just being held by these tractor beams, and I can't do anything about it. That is what I hate. And I'm dying. Yeah, you know what? 
but this thing does turn okay, but I think beams might be more useful. I'm not sure. I don't know, I am able to keep to the front pretty much how I want to. I think it'll definitely be better with the Alachi weapons. I mean, that's what it's built for. Oh, you know what? I don't... Oh, yeah. I forgot the Alachi weapons disrupt her. Ooh, what is that? Somebody did something to it. Um, okay. That was wave two. Wave three will be coming here. Come on, guys. You can take that one ship out. There we go. Now the other ones will be coming right now. There you are. Let's do a torpedo spread on your butt. I know they're not. All I see is the Omega ones firing. I mean, I had that problem once, so I fixed it. I don't know how I fixed it, but I did. Oh no, they are firing. Plasma torpedo, okay. No, they are firing. It just doesn't look like it. It's hard to tell because... Because it's so tiny on this ship.
Yeah, and there goes a the plasma corp. Yes, they are firing. Look, I did a whole stream of plasma corps there. Okay, it works. Heal thyself. Mirror universe. See, there goes my turrets. Turrets are definitely helping. High yield. Oh, that's not. Yeah, that is high yield. Go, high yield. Go. Yay. We have succeeded. Yay, team. Good game. Alright, fleet mission succeeded. So, there you go, there's some battle with this thing. I, I, it's kind of hard to see, I guess. We need to do some one on one battle so you can actually see what it's doing. Cool. I'll probably do some, you know, Tau Day with sector patrols and other stuff to get a more idea of how it's working, but it's really hard in all that mess to see what's what it's doing and what it's not. The weapons are so tiny on it because the ship is so big. I'm not used to that. It kind of looks unimpressive because of that. But I assure you, it seemed to be performing very well. Um, very strong, definitely a lot of strength in it in terms of, you know, not dying ability. Uh, robust, I guess you could say. Um, which is what you want out of a battle about, about a ship. But I am, uh, it turns all right. I mean, I was, there was not once during that whole battle that I wasn't able to keep it turned to an enemy that I wanted to fire on. That's important because that means you could make a cannon build out of it, actually. So I'm kind of on the fence about what to use. It's just gonna, I'm just going to have to play with it more, you know? Try out different things. I wanted to try out this Deep Space Encounter, so uh, just that, so that I can show you the weapons separately. So you can get a look at the weapons better. For example, uh, I know it's going to blow up too fast, so actually I need to make these manual so I can show you. Alright. Alright, 
Alright, oh, you're gonna fire on a ship and ruin my video. And you're gonna fire. There's a big ship I can fire on. Now what I wanted to show you... Oh, it's gonna come to a halt fast enough. Darn it! I'm firing on my ships! Let's try a high yield. Bam. High yield what? Oh, don't fire on my ship! Weapons. High yield. Which one is the, uh... I forget which one is the, um... This is the Romulan one. Trying to figure out which one is which. Okay, this must be the Omega one. Yeah, okay, that's the Romulan and that's the Omega. Now, stop blowing up my ship, start it! So I can show these people something. Great, now they blew up every ship in this instance. And you're doing that one. Oh, wait, there's a whole like, group of ships over here. What's this? Says there's a whole group of ships right around me, and I don't see one of them. I see, actually, I see one, literally. This may be more difficult than I thought. I may need to find a better uh, instance, I mean, a better um, sector to do this in. Hope everybody's motion sick now because I am. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Sorry, but this is just not going well. go down to Beta Ursi. And there'll be tougher enemies there anyway. Alright, enemy contact. Show me where you are. There you are. Let's take you. And do you. And kill you. Yay! Now let's see if we can find something to kill. Perfect. Ships and lots of ships. Uh, there are people here, but that's alright. Um, let's find a tough ship. There we go. Let's take this escort and let's do a high yield on it. And I'll show you the Romulan high yield. See, it, got, it does one, two, three, three heavy plasma torpedo. They're slow, but check it out. Isn't that awesome? That's the high yield, remember, not the regular one, the high yield. Now, if their shields were down, that would have done a lot of damage. Now, I will show you the high yield Omega one. There we go. High yield Omega. That's the high yield Omega one. Cool, huh? 
Now here's the regular. Here's just regular. That's regular Romulan. One, two, three. Now regular Omega. It's a little bolt, but it fires really fast, so you can fire a lot of them. Like that. I killed that whole ship with just torpedoes. Anyway, their shields were up. That obviously deflects, but you can see what that does with the torpedoes now. That's very cool. So with both torpedoes, you see I'm doing a lot of torpedo stuff. Now let's show, I'll show you the, um, the special beam, what is it, Romulan Plasma Array. Okay, Romulan Plasma Array, regular, no special powers. Oh, oh I hit the space bar crap, <laughs> sorry. Um, okay. Now if I hit overload... Now the um... It's not firing the cannon for some reason. For some reason, it's not firing my cannons. And I don't know why. But it wasn't firing the cannons, it was grayed out. What's that all about? Oh, this map's empty now. Huh. Well, anyway, you get the idea. Hmm. I don't know. I got a lot to play with. So there you go, everybody. That is an Alachi ship. Or an Alachi battleship, anyway. Monbosch. And, uh, of course, I've got a lot more to play up with it, uh, you know, to figure out about it and its characteristics and how it plays and different ways you can build on it and, um, obviously different weapons. This is kind of a Romulan setup, which is not probably not the most efficient for it. I really want the Alachi setup, but it's going to take a lot of console slots, but I'll do it because I think that might be the best thing for it. Um, but in reality, well, I mean, on the other hand, I think that the Escort is probably going to be my more favorite ship because I really don't like battleships that much. They're just too slow for me. I, like I said, I've got to have maneuverability. i got to have it fast moving. I don't like large ships. I want powerful small ships. That's just me personally. Some people may love this thing to death, but I think I might like the Escort better. But I don't have the uh, resources to get it right now, but one day in the future, <laughs> I, I swear to you, I will get the um, Ilachi Escort and try it out as well. Well, that's all I can pretty much do with this ship right now. I've got a lot to figure out about it and mess with and play with. And uh, ultimately, I've got Nukara to grind, uh, and I want to try that stuff out. And then I have uh, the Alachi stuff to get in the low buy store, which is going to be a long time before I can afford that. We're talking months, guys. It's going to be a long time before I can really, really kit this ship out how I want it. So I may hold off on doing STF videos on it because I don't have all the stuff for it yet, and it's going to be a long time before I do. And I would rather show it to you with all that stuff because that's what makes it unique and important. Um, so, But at least you got to see it in combat with, without that stuff. So you get an idea of what you can do until you get that stuff. Anyway, that's the best I can do for now. But please leave your comments and let me know different ways and different ideas you have for this ship. And if you have the ship, what works best for you? Uh, because, again, I'm just uh, up in the air on it. I've got a lot of questions and... Um, yeah, I don't know. But I want that escort. <laughs> okay. See you all later. Have a good time. Thank you for watching. And um, stay tuned for the next one.